All right, so in this video, we're going to look at some vintage uh, Fairmont dollies. So the one nearest to you is the uh, 1068 low crown dolly. Then the one further away is the 1050, which is a combination spoon. So if you have the uh, key to metal bumping, like this is the fourth edition here, or if you get the third edition, they're all very similar. What I'll tell you is that uh, when you look at them, in the uh, fourth edition, they have some newer tools in it. Mostly, I think, in the hammers. So they have the fiberglass hammers. There's like one tack hammer that's missing compared to the third edition. But uh, I wouldn't hesitate to buy the third edition over the fourth edition. Whatever you find is available. I don't think it's uh, too significant. And I was happy that the fourth edition wasn't like some horrible quality um, photocopy of an old document. Like Martin is actually doing a good job of keeping this book in good shape considering the uh, how long it's been around. It's not just a cheap photocopy. So uh, I got these recently off of a, an eBay purchase along with some other items. So this is the 1068 came in like a little carton. So whoever had this before me took good care of it. There's no crazy craters or anything in it. It's got a nice sharp edge along the bottom of it all the way around. And it's uh, round all the way elsewhere. Now the, uh, the, the combination spoon actually had a uh, forging imperfection. If you can see that or not. I imagine it doesn't uh, impact the quality of using the tool too much. A little divot in there, that's intentional, part of the forging process. Anyway, I think you can buy both of these uh, new. That's why they're in the uh, key to metal bumping fourth version there. So anyway, this is what they look like if they were the uh, original style. But if you want to get the new ones, there's nothing wrong with that. Just based on cost and availability, uh, which way you go. Thanks for watching.